Hello, my name is Paula Kopitz, and this is the Reading Catholic Community Daily Message. Sunday, May 9th is a very special day. It's Mother's Day. It's not only a special day for the church, but it's a special day throughout the whole world. I would like to share some thoughts I have on Mother's Day. This is for all the mothers, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, great-great-grandmothers, godmothers, stand-in moms. Moms who are blessed with children by marriage or special friendship moms. You know who you are. We share a bond that transcends our humanness. We are like the church we profess our faith to and are connected more than globally. We are all members of the communion of saints. This includes women that have gone before us, women that are yet to be born, and women that share the same time we have on earth. I personally have never bought into negative women narratives, maybe because of all the women who share my inner circle, knew no bounds and celebrated their personhood with grace, strength, and dignity. I would like to share some wisdom and some quotes from a few women who have gone before us to support you in our work, which is the most important work we will ever accomplish here on earth. I'm sure if not all moms, most would agree when I say that motherhood can be full of ups and downs, twists and turns, triumphs and trials, all which can sometimes happen in the span of just one day. I know that there are times I need inspiration to get me through the day. And I know a lot of you moms and dads are out there probably feeling the same way. With this in mind, here are some encouraging words from a few of my favorite saints in hopes that this collection will give us the boost we need and keep mothering on. When you feel like the little things you do don't matter. St. Teresa of Calcutta would say, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. When you can't seem to stop worrying over every single thing in your family's life. St. Padre Pio would say, pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. When you feel like there's no time at all to pray, even for a minute. St. Therese of Lisieux would say, for me, Prayer is a surge of the heart. It is a simple look towards heaven. It is a cry of recognition and of love, embracing both trial and joy. When you are unsure of what tomorrow will bring, especially in terms of material provisions, St. Gianna would say, God's providence is in all things. It's always present. And when you feel like you are struggling every day to keep it together, St. Jose Maria would say, love our lady, and she will obtain abundant grace to help you conquer in your daily struggle. I pray these five inspiring quotes for mothers will bless us and our families. No matter what happens, remember we are all in this together. And thanks to the communion of saints, we have a mighty army of prayer worries to help us. Please join us to Sunday Mass this weekend for a special Mother's Day blessing and celebrate the mom in your family. Have a great day. Have a great Mother's Day.